guys day two kicked off with a visit to nigeria on conquered training session a charitable organization supported supporting wounded injured or sick service members observing a game of sitting volleyball a core sport of the invictus games Prince Harry, wearing his Invictus Games polo shirt, joined in the game, embodying the spirit of resilience and camaraderie. The Duchess cheered from the sidelines, accepting matching dresses from local women, symbolizing solidarity and admiration for the couple. So we know that, um, as we say, Harry was wearing wearing the the Invictus polo shirt, eliciting cheers and excitement from the audience, while also encouraging Nigeria's chief of defense staff to play too, who joyfully jumped in. The Duchess cheered from the sideline, accepting matches from the women um, who expressed their solidarity and admiration for the couple. The event was a testament to the power of sport in uniting people, fostering recovery and celebrating the human spirit's capacity to overcome challenges. So that was the first place they went. And then after that, they went to a reception with military families. So uh, we know that the couple then attended the reception with the military families and the Withers Association, because, you know, Withers, all the people who are left back based on their husband being killed, honoring the sacrifices made by service members. The eventual case, um, testimonies from wounded warriors, emphasizing the transformative impact of the Invictus Games on their lives. A 3D tour of the upcoming Nigerian Invictus Center highlighted the future of physical and mental rehabilitation, receiving enthusiastic applause. So people were so excited about that. So we know that they, they were invited, the event honored the sacrifices made by that. And it's in preparation for Invictus 2025 because we know they are going to be in Canada. The atmosphere was equally electrified by performances of drummers and dancers who acrobatic feet left everyone in awe. The audience then heard testimonies from wounded warriors, including Lance Corporal Pacemaker. Oh, Pacemaker was in Canada to remember, guys. Azu Gubam, who thanked the Duke for making the games a reality. Reflecting on his experience, he added, It has given me a purpose. My disability does not hinder my ability. That is so nice. And we spoke about how they toured the 3D um, upcoming Nigerian Invictus Center, a soon-to-be haven for physical and mental rehabilitation, was then shared on the big screen of to rupturous applause. The event concluded and remarks from the Duke and the couple receiving traditional ASO Oki outfits. Let's hope I'm not doing these names justice, justice but yes. Um, so finally... We know that Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, participated in a conversation with Dr. Ngozi Okongo Aloela, Director General of the World Trade Organization, celebrating female leadership in Abuja, addressing a diverse audience of women from various sectors. Megan emphasized the importance of representation and empowerment for future generations. Dr. Akongo Aluela um, shared insights from her distinguished career, highlighting the significance of mentorship and women supporting one another. And we know Megan is big on women leadership and they, they talk a lot about that, right? So addressing a room of about 50 women from across Nigerian society, politics, business, media and culture, the Duchess and Dr. Akung, Akunga Aluela touch on the importance of female leadership and empowerment in driving positive change globally. The Duchess shared insights on her 
newfound Nigerian heritage, the hope she sees for future generation and the power of representation. Representation matters tremendously. You need to see it to believe it. That starts when you're very young. I often find that whatever travels I've done, regardless if it's Nigeria or another country around the world, oftentimes when women reach the peak of success, they leave. But you need to come back. You need to at least be a familiar face for the next generation to say, oh, she looks like me and I can be that too. You still always want to come back home because that's how you're going to, to help shift any sort of generational pattern that might be shifting, especially for young girls who need to see someone who looks like them in the same position. Um, said Megan, speaking to her time both as Nigeria's uh, Minister of Finance and Foreign Minister, as well as her role as Managing Director of the World Bank and current role with WTO, Dr. Akungo Aluelo discussed the importance of mentorship and the wisdom she has gained from both men and women around the world. The duo concluded their chat with a brief question, Q&A, &A, question and answer, right? So, of course, we're saying the day was concluded with a brief Q&A session, reinforcing the need for women to uplift and empower each other across all spheres of life. Through their engagement, Prince Harry and Meghan demonstrated their commitment to supporting communities, promoting gender equality and fostering positive change globally. So the guys, that was day two. Very impactful day. We're looking forward. We love the fashion that we saw today. We love the the, the embrace that both of them have and also just giving back. You know, it's, it was so reciprocal. Um, we love the gifts that were given. We just love everything. We love the culture of Nigeria. They seem to really embrace them. They seem to really show them their culture and they were dancing and having so much fun today, you know, because what they say, when in Rome, you have to do as the Romans do. And of course, Megan has Nigerian in her. She's a black woman. So she's biracial. She's all of those things, you know, and to know that Harry has also his, his children are now mixed. So obviously they're going to be encouraged to to understand different cultures around the world and nigeria brought it they came out and they showed them how to be hospitable and just how beautiful the country is and how warm the people people are so i'm so happy today went perfectly well we can't wait for tomorrow you know the fashion was on point and we can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the final day and we're going to see because so far the, the trip has been a, a tremendous success going very well. And we have to just give quotas to Nigeria for hosting them and just for being so hospitable and warm to them. You could see the love. You could see they like they took them on as their kids you know so it was just so lovely to see and of course you know megan spoke about lilibet and and archie and uh, talk about you know the little children about things that they are doing and just being a proud mom and balancing the work-life balance of work and home you know how do you balance it and how do you become more successful at both so it's really good going so far. I am so happy for them. But guys, that's what I wanted to bring to you. Just a recap of what happened for day two. A quick update. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you never miss a beat. Bye.